Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of The Living Waters. A few weeks ago we looked into the aseity of God. And today let's look into the omniscience of God. God who knows everything. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 13 says, "And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account." First Samuel 2:3 says, "The Lord is a God of knowledge." Let me read for you a few verses from uh, Psalm 139. "O Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up." You discern my thoughts from afar even before a word is on my tongue behold O Lord you know it all together Even the darkness is not dark to you the night is bright as the day for the darkness is as light with you Such knowledge is so wonderful for me it is high i cannot attain it Omniscience of God is yet another attribute of God that makes him incomprehensible to us It means God is all knowing there is nothing he does not know infinite knowledge of the past present and future all at once before him in one entire prospect God never learns anything does not gather new information about anything ever he is never taken by surprise Thomas Watson in his work on attributes of God describes certain glorious applications of the understanding of omniscience of god let us examine a few of them number 1 understanding the omniscience of god helps us see the the folly of hypocrisy a hypocrite is, is one who claims to be and portrays himself before others as living in righteousness while he is nothing better than a he uh, better than a heathen as matthew 6 6 says It talks about a father who sees in the secret. Thomas Watson writes, God has a window to look into men's heart. He has a key to open up the heart. He beholds all the sinful workings of men's spirit as in a glass beehive where we can see the bees working in the comb. Regarding the sin of Israel we see in Jeremiah 29 23 God says I know it and I am witness to it Shall we plead to God that he would help us fight hypocrisy with all our might We need not be and we should not be hypocrites because God is all knowing Number 2 Understanding the omniscience of God should should make us always feel as living under under all under his all seeing eyes he sees us all the time he sees through us all the time as the good old song says oh be careful with our eyes what you see oh be careful with with our ears what we hear for the father up above is looking down in love we ought to live as if always in full view of god and say with david i have said the lord always before me number 3 god's knowledge of us is infallible in other words god's estimate of us is never wrong because he is not like men who judges heart by actions but rather he is a god who judges action by the heart so understanding god's omniscience is a call for sincerity all our actions mean nothing all our service our works means nothing if our hearts are not sincere if our motive is not love for god if our motive is not glory of god also this is a great comfort to the child of god because it is not the volume of his service of his work that defines the value before god but the sincerity of his heart it also helps us turn away from pleasing men and rather we could please god the final application that i would like to share today is that 
none of our troubles and hardships are hidden from God because he is omniscient he knows our pain our struggles and every groaning groaning of our of our hearts don't ever ask is god hearing my prayers is he hearing me as i cry out in my closet behind closed doors psalm 56 verse 8 says you have kept count of my miseries you put my tears in your bottle and they and and uh, and all of them are are they not in your book he hears us he sees our tears he even keeps account of all of those how comforting it is to know that our god is omniscient